Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Kentucky Colonel William Carrington. A lot of you from my hometown know me as Billy. Tonight I come to you to inform you about my book. I'm writing a book called Faith in God. I've been working on this uh, going on uh, roughly around five years. And uh, the last two years, we it's really came together. And uh, it's uh, looks like the time is right to launch it. And uh, faith in God is all about how you deal with everything in your everyday life. If you put your faith in God, then your life will change. Uh, myself, I, I'd gone through a stage in my life where I thought I could do everything on my own. I thought I didn't need anyone. And I was very young then. I'm an old man now. But it wasn't long and I realized, uh, tell people I'd gotten down in a ditch and I just uh, didn't have nowhere to go. But it, I wasn't in the, actually a ditch yet. I still had a long ways to fall to get to the bottom. And I never went that far. I just turned around and one day and I said, God, I, I need you. I can't do this without you. And I raised my hand up and I said, please take me. Forgive me. Forgive me of my sins. Please take me back. I need you. And he did. And doors started opening for me. And that's what faith in God is all about. It's putting your faith into God and believing that all things are possible. Uh, right here, uh, I, wrote, I have written for the uh, putting articles in uh, local newspapers and uh, also uh, in magazines. I've had my writings in magazines. And uh, this is all about... When people, even ourselves, when we get caught up in our everyday life, it seems like it's all caving in on us. We have nowhere to turn to. And uh, that's what this book will help you. Just like the Bible. Uh, turn to it. Read it. Study it. Daily. And you'll learn and you'll come closer to God. And it will change your life like it did mine. This is a cover, what the covers, this is not the final, this is not the final uh, draw, I guess, it's not the finalized of the copy of the cover, what it's going to look like, but it's going to be something similar to that. And uh, as you can see, uh, God, uh, God is everything, so that's why it's got the uh, stars and everything up above it. And uh, Jesus Christ is the living water, and that's what the water's for. And uh, you, there's some uh, footsteps down there at the bottom, I don't know if you can see it in the frame. But as uh, footsteps indicate, he's always walking with you. You're never alone. And I, I don't know if you can see, there's three keys in there. And the three keys are the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. That's like the three ones. That's what the ones stand for. And uh, I may add one more one, so it'll be four ones. Because it'll be the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and in creation. And as you can tell, it's a master in the keys of life. So this here, like you say, it's... It's not about me. It's how you go through and, your, and how you set your mind, your mindset to where you can deal with everything, everyday issues. Whether it's something with your family, something at work. Maybe it's something you're, you're wanting in the future. A direction you're wanting to go. The very first writing I done in Faith in God, this is the very first one that went out in a newspaper. And uh, it was all about planting seeds. How you mentally plant the seeds of your future. See, if we plant seeds of negative, or we think bad of someone, or if we think that we're not going to make it that day, and we, can, we say things like, I can't do this, or I can't do that, you're right. Those bad things will come to you, because that's what you're, the seeds you're planting. If you think something bad of someone, it's going to come back on you. Some people say, hey, it's karma. You know, that's cool. I'm not going to debate that. If you want to call that karma, that's fine. I just know that everything you put out returns back to you. See, this human body, it's a gift. You're a soul inside this body. And uh, once this body's done, and it's got an expiration date on it, I believe it's somewhere between... Uh, now, in our lifetime, I believe it's between 80 to 120 years. 
life expectancy on this body. Depends on how good you take care of it and what accidents are you involved in in a lifetime. So uh, if you take good care of it, avoid accidents, you may be able to get that 120 plus out of it. And also make sure you eat right. Uh, get you a diet, plan you a really good diet, and go through it. Learn how to feed the body, to feed the mind, to feed your spirit, and your life will be fulfilled. You know, I, it depends on what you're looking for. I know that this book, it's going to be released, Faith in God. I've done a lot of research, and I have a team that's been working with me. And i got a young lady, and I, soon I will let her name be mentioned. But she has done so much and done a lot of research to bring faith in God alive. And like I say, we're all excited. And I really do think that, uh, that it'll be well, well uh, what's the word? It's kind of like well taken, but well appreciated maybe. Uh, like I say, it's been like a child to me, so I've been kind of afraid to turn it loose yet. And I never claimed to be a writer. Uh, I'm just no country boy from Kentucky. But my mom believed in God. My mom and my family did. And they got us into church, me and my sisters, into church when I was young. So I knew about God and Jesus. I knew how to live. I knew what not to do. So in this book, like I say, it's not about me. It's about how it will help you live your life. And that's why I hope that it'll touch your heart like the Bible's touched mine. You can't replace the Bible. It's not that. This is just a, a book to inspire you to live your life to the fullest by having faith in God. Because through your faith in Him, all things are possible. You know, it's written in Matthew it said that if you go searching, you'll find what you're looking for. If you knock, that door will be open. Wherever there's a wall, it'll become a door. And if you ask, you shall receive. Try to figure out what it is you want in life. Whatever direction it is, let's hope it's in a positive way. Because remember, <laughs> remember this. If you put something out positive, positive is what you'll receive. You put something out negative, negative is what you'll get back. Try to make you a vision for every day, how you want to live your life. Take that vision. Plan out your day. Let that become your mission in life. And live a great, healthy life. Like I say, I hope you like the book when it comes out. We're going to try to have it out, or I'm going to try to have it out on the market by the Christmas sales. It's my first book. And I'd say I'm probably going to have a lot of critics. Well, I'm ready for that. But i got a great team that's working behind me. And there's many more books to come. I'm looking to hopefully have, i got ten that I want to do. And all of them is going to be basically about the same, in the same direction. And they're all about inspiring other people to come closer to God. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for your time. Your time is so valuable. Because that's one thing that cannot be replaced. This time. It's very expensive <laughs> because you never get it back. Thank you again. God bless you and your families, and I hope you're able to get out and get the book this coming uh, Christmas and enjoy it with your family. Thank you. God bless you.